What's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna check out the audio settings and other settings in the A10 On Air app for use with the UC9020 Streamlive HD. So, let's check out the app now. Okay, so here we have our audio settings. Now, you have your preview and program up top as usual, but down below we have all new audio settings. First up is our HDMI 1 in, then we have HDMI 2, then we have our mic, trusty mic right here, line in, then we have our PGM, which is your final mix. Over here we have our earphone, okay? So if you want to listen to headphones and listen to all the different audio settings, you can do that. If the audio is too loud on one of your sources, like let's say the microphone is a little close to me and it's coming in a little too loud, you can always adjust that with the T bars here. So I can put it down and then I can put it at a volume that I think is more acceptable. Same with HDMI 1, I can just play with that, put it up or down and make sure that the audio sounds right and isn't too loud or too quiet for the audience. Now let's go over back to HDMI 1. Now, as you can see, we have an AFV and an ON button at the bottom. AFV stands for Audio Follows Video, and what that means is if HDMI 1 is recording and it's set to program, then the video and audio will output at the same time. But if I cut over to HDMI 2, then the PGM mix is not going to include the HDMI 1 audio, so that audio will cut out. Now, let's go over to our settings. So at the top left, we have our stream settings. So that has server one, server two with the URL and stream key. Then we have our output down here. Okay, so first up is transition period. That corresponds to the auto button. Okay, so you can set it between 0.3 and three seconds. Right now we have it set to one. So when we hit auto, it will take one whole second to transition from one scene to the other. Next up is streaming resolution. So right now we're set to 720 at 30. You can also go to 1080 or 420p. Down below that, you have your streaming quality. So right now we're set to fluent, which is the lowest. Then we can go up to normal, which is higher. Then we can go up to quality, which is even higher. Or you can set it to manual. Okay, and you can play around with that and set it exactly where you want. Up at the top right, you have your network settings. Okay, right now that's set to DHCP, or you can also do manual. Okay, you can input the IP address, the mask, gateway, etc. manually. Next up is your pause picture. So, when you hit pause on live streaming, it will show an image. Right now it's set to black, or you can use our other preset, which is these pause icons, or you can hit upload and upload your own custom image. Finally, we have audio delay. Okay, so that can be set between zero and 300 milliseconds. It's very important that the audio matches up to the video, obviously. Now, I wanna talk about something else. If you go up to the top left here and then go to open project, as you can see, you can create project profiles and then quickly open those on the UC9020. So if you're going to different live events and you have a project profile for one and a different one for another, you can easily load that up without having to do everything manually every single time. That's all for this video. Until next time, happy live streaming, everyone.